Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Castleberry Independent School District's graduation ceremony for the class of 2023. My name is Dr. Barnes. <laughs> I am the associate principal of Castleberry High School. Please stand with me to welcome the graduating class of 2023 as they enter the auditorium.
Please remain standing. Please remain standing as Clarabelle Avalos leads us in the invocation. Good evening. My name is Clarabelle Avalos. Before the graduation ceremony begins, I would like to say a prayer. If you feel comfortable in doing so, I ask that you pray along with me. And in reverence to God, if we can all bow our heads. Father God, we just come before you this evening. I want to give you thanks for the opportunity to be standing here right now. Thank you for this new door of opportunity that you have opened for each and every one of us students here today for this scary but most of all exciting new chapter about to take place in our lives. God, I pray that you give each of us the will and the desire to make the right decisions and wise choices as we continue to take a step forward in this life. I pray that you lead and guide us to where it is that we need to be, for you are the head of protection over us as we go about our day. And I want to pray over every mind in here that struggles with depression, with anxiety, with PTSD, or even the will to live. I pray for emotional, for mental, spiritual, and physical healing over every person that hears this. What you struggle with does not define who you are. And the mistakes you've made do not define who you are, and your past does not define who you are today. Every day is a new day, a new opportunity, a gift. Cherish it. Thank you, God, for where you have us now and for what the future holds. We give you all the honor, all the glory, and all the praise. Amen. Please remain standing as Cesar Alderate leads us in the United States Pledge of Allegiance and the Texas Pledge. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge of allegiance to the Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. Please remain standing as Miss Amber Davis leads the Castleberry High School Choir in the singing of our national anthem.
Graduates and guests, please be seated. At this time, I would like to welcome Mr. Pasquale Lachardi, principal of Reach High School, to the podium. Welcome. We are glad you are here this evening at the combined graduation ceremony of Castleberry ISD's two high schools. This is the 64th graduation ceremony for Castleberry High School since its opening in 1958, and the 53rd graduation ceremony for Reach High School since its opening in 1995. To help make this cere ceremony a memory, please do the following. Show our student speakers respect by remaining silent during their speeches. Applaud at the appropriate times. Ensure that your cell phones are on vibrate. Air horns and cowbells are not permitted. Move to the center of the aisles to allow seating for all guests. And lastly, please escort upset youngsters to the lobby when needed so everyone can hear the ceremony. In conclusion, please be courteous and respectful to those that are around you this evening. Our graduates have worked extremely hard and deserve a graduation ceremony that maintains the high expectations of Castleberry ISD and our community. Thank you. It is my honor at this time to introduce our special guest today. Seated on my right are members of the Castleberry ISD Board of Education, Mrs. Mary Lou Martinez, Ms. Kathy Gattica, Mr. David Holder, Ms. Tracy Gallman, Ms. Linda Ramos Aguillon, and Ms. Ariella Martinez. Superintendent of Schools, Mrs. Renee Smith Faulkner. In addition to the Board of Education and Mrs. Renee Smith Faulkner, are members of the CISD Cabinet, Assistant Superintendent Lenny Lasher, Exec Executive Director of Financial Services Deanne Page, Executive Director of Educational Leadership Dr. June Richland, Executive Director of Teaching, Learning, and Innovation Dr. Lacey Paget, Director of Talent and Acquisition Dr. Myrna Blanchard. Director of Special Programs, Christy Patton, and Director of Technology Operations, Jacob Bowser. Thank you. Thank you for all your services to our school district. Seated behind me are Ms. Cassie, Kathy Williams, Principal of Castleberry High School, Mr. Pasquale Lachardi, Principal of Reach High School, Ms. Cameron Burton, Assistant Principal of Castleberry High School, Ms. Deborah Aspergren, Assistant Principal of Castleberry High School. Mr. Duran Johnson, Assistant Principal of Castleberry High School. Mr. Ms. Christy Haston, Counselor of Castleberry High School. Mr. Stephen Reeve, Counselor of Castleberry High School. Mrs. Stephanie Martinez, CTE Coordinator. Mr. Sal Lemus, College, Career, and Military Readiness Advisor and Mr. Leo Vasquez, Student Advocate of Spe Specialist for Castleberry Independent School District. <laughs> Behind us is our outstanding Castleberry High School Band under the direction of Mr. Joshua Perry, Mr. Taylor Dwyer, and Mr. Wesley McCall. I would also like to recognize the outstanding staff of Castleberry and Reach High Schools. If you will please stand so we may recognize you. Thank you for your love and support of these graduates and your devotion to helping these students accomplish this milestone. You may be seated. Congratulations to the parents and families of graduating members of the class of 2023. <laughs> I know. 
I know that you are very proud of your son's or daughter's accomplishments. Thank you very much for sharing your children with us. At this time, I would like to especially welcome and recognize any and all Castleberry High School's former graduates. If you are a Castleberry Lion alumni, please stand so we may recognize you at this time. Thank you. I am excited to present our salutatorian and our valedictorian for the class of 2023. The salutatorian with the second highest rank with a GPA of 5.336 for the class of 2023 is Hajir Zagul. Azure is the daughter of Shadia Smadi and Hussein Zagul. She has been a Castleberry Lion for 11 years in CISD. Hazur has thrived in her academic endeavors. She is a member of the National Honor Society, a member of the National Technical Honor Society, and a member of the Superintendent Student Advisory Committee. Hazur has excelled in advanced placement, University of Texas on-ramps, Texas State Technical College courses, and Tarrant County College dual credit courses, earning 34.5 high school credits with an overall GPA of 5.336. Has your plans to attend Vanderbilt University and major in neuroscience. Congratulations, Hazard. <laughs> Greetings. Good evening, parents, students, teachers, and administrators. Welcome to the class of 2023 graduation ceremony. The day has finally come when we must say goodbye to our high school days and say hello to a new world of opportunities, surprises, and joy. I first would like to thank my mother and father for moving overseas from Jordan to give their children a better life. I am so grateful to have been able to utilize the resources around me and provided at Castleberry to excel in academics. I hope that one day I will be able to give my future children the same opportunities and make sacrifices just like my parents did. Aside from that, I always grew up wanting to prove that I was number one over all of everyone because I used to believe that being number two was just being the first to lose. But it's so much more than that. Life is all about sacrifices and you live and you learn. There will always be obstacles waiting to happen, but what's essential to understand is no hurdle is too high for you to overcome and prosper. It's easier to give up now than try later, but aren't you curious what the future holds? I already know what giving up feels like because I have. But now, I want to see what happens if I keep moving. I want everyone joining us today to think about a goal for themselves and continue to reach that goal by taking small steps each day. Believe that we all have that potential in our hearts. We just need a bit of fire to ignite that desire that we all have within ourselves. Just remember that no one is going to tell you to get off your phone when it's past midnight and you're scrolling through your timeline. And no one is going to tell you to turn off the Xbox when you've been playing Call of Duty for the better part of the evening. Knowing your desires and why you are chasing them is your job. This will allow you to control yourself and your actions in a positive manner. We will never get these days back. Or the person you're sitting next to, you will never see them again. So please, if you will make these moments last, take pictures, talk to strangers, make new friends, sit next to the lonely student at lunch, do whatever you can to make an impact. Let people remember who you were and never forget your presence. I know that each and every one of you will prosper and go on to do amazing things in the future. Those of you on the medical pathway, I hope we are both ready for the most rewarding careers of our lives. I always knew since I was a child that I wanted to help people. I remember when my brother got his first concussion playing on the Castleberry High School football team, and I placed an ice pack on his forehead, the relief it gave him. It gave me a sense of comfort and appreciation. From that moment on, I knew that neurosurgery was a career for me. Neuroscience is the study of the nervous system and its structure and function. 
So it is how we control our bodies and how we think. Another reason why I decided to major in neurosurgery was because of my aunt. She lived all her life paralyzed from, her, from the knees down and had to use a wheelchair ever since she was six years old. She was stripped of her opportunity to attend school and lived her entire life in a house while learning how to cook and clean and do daily tasks. She is currently living by herself in Jordan and was never able to get the surgery that she needed to fix her spinal cord injury from Shin when she was just a baby. She inspires me every single day because she never lets her disability stop her from doing what she loves, which is taking good care of those around her. Because of her, I plan on studying neuroscience to better acclimate myself to her disease and more simpler or complex diseases that have affected millions around the globe. I also hope to one day provide affordable options to patients like my aunt who are unable to pay the fee in order to get their life back. We all have our own obstacles. Some may be more detrimental than others, but what matters is what we do to overcome them and the goals that we have set for ourselves that will leave an impact on our society and community. Moreover, one main piece of advice that I would love to give to you is to always be independent. You thrive better in an environment where you don't have to feel like you must rely on someone. Please take control of your life and start making the decisions and changes that you want to your life right now because no one is going to tell you to get up and change your life. You don't always see the vision right away. I encourage you to make positive changes to your life right now because time will pass you by, the sun will always set, and no one is going to stop you. If there is one thing that I know for a fact, coming from someone who is always changing up their environment and personal life, people will always judge you. I used to believe that people would like me more or even treat me better in social situations if I acted just like, just like they wanted me to. But soon I realized that I was enough, just the way I am. Although growing up in a predominantly diverse school, I always felt like the only one of me. Being Arab in an American school has its pros and cons. I don't get to see my close family members because I live thousands of miles away. But I have adapted an American patriotism as well as an Arabian attitude by leaving my mark here at Castleberry High School. Not many can say that their parents crossed oceans and traveled miles to give their child an opportunity to be great. I sincerely would like to dedicate all of my love and care to my mom and dad. Even when I gave up on myself so many times and never thought I would see the light of day again, Mama and Baba were always there in my heart. I hope that I can make both of you proud because it's the least I could do to thank you for all your sacrifices. The last thing I wanna say before I walk away and leave behind everything I've ever known is something that a wise woman once said, to always be proud of your honor and tradition and the country and the family in which you belong to but now it's your place to make the most of yourself. Thank you. I now have the honor of introducing our class of 2023 valedictorian. He is the graduate with the highest grade point average of 5.469. If Lewis will make his way to the podium. To the CISD board, Superintendent Smith Faulkner, to my fellow honorons, thank you so much. To my beloved teachers, my friends, and of course my family. And to you, members of the class of 2023, hello. Today we gather at a conference where the rivers of our past, present, and future meet. Our lives have danced to the rhythm of a shared song, a symphony interwoven with the chords of struggle triumph, perseverance, and victory. We stand here today, each with a story etched into our hearts and a journey as unique as our dreams. At the heart of each story is the improbable, which is not merely a word, but a testament to our spirit, resilience, and resolve. Improbability has colored the fabric of our experiences, yet we have survived and thrived in its face. It has been our companion walking side by side, 
shattering our footsteps and mirroring our journey. Today, I want you to remember this. Remember that our journey has been about transforming the improbable into the possible, the daunting into the achievable, and the dreams into reality. Remember that each of us standing here in the radiant glow of achievement has turned a new leaf, scribed a new chapter, and painted a new horizon. You see, a high school diploma is not merely a piece of paper, it's a, or a certificate, or a record, or academic endeavors. Instead, it's a testament to our strength, a seal of our perseverance, and a symbol of our power. It's a tapestry of woven with the threads of late night studies, moments of self-doubt, triumphant smiles, and the steady hands of our teachers guiding us all interlaced with the bright hues of our dreams and aspirations. This diploma is a testament to the hundreds of hours we spent poring over books and the countless moments we breathed life into our dreams. This small piece of paper holds a galaxy of stories. It sings a song for us. It's a mirror that reflects our journeys and the collective rhythm of our strides. It marks the accumulation of our high school years and the commencement of our futures. I want you to take a moment to truly look at it when you can, to feel its weight, its substance, its power. It's the distilled essence of our past, a compass guiding us to our future, and a reminder that within us resides the power to shape our destiny. With this, we assert our presence in the world, stepping forward as the architects of a new tomorrow, bearers of dreams unimagined, and the crafters of stories yet untold. This diploma is a beacon, a beacon that has been lit by our combined effort and will continue to glow with the promise that we can achieve. It is a beacon that illuminates our path, casting long shadows of our achievements behind us and throwing brilliant light into the path that stretches out ahead. And fellow graduates, as you step into the world with this beacon in our hands, let us remember the magic of our shared experiences let us carry forward the spirit of unity, the resilience that we discovered within ourselves, and then using faith in our dreams. Today, we are graduates armed with this power of knowledge and the strength of our shared experiences. Today, we are the artists, the architects, the dreamers, the doers, the storytellers, and the trailblazers. Today, we're the symphony and the silence, the poem and the stanza, the dream and a dreamer. So as we stand in this conference today, let us embrace the power of our high school diploma. Let us remember that the beauty and the improbability, the magic of our journey, and the power in our stories. As we look to the horizon, let's promise to ourselves to remember not just as a destination, but the journey, not just the success, but the struggle, not just the dreams, but the dreamers. Fellow graduates, today is ours, tomorrow too. It's ours to write and dream and live. So let's step forward, imbued with the power of our high school diploma, and craft our stories in the allies of time. So here's to us in our improbable journey and the incredible journey ahead. Congratulations, class of 2023. Congratulations to your family, to your friends. Good luck, and thank you so much for listening. I will now introduce the remaining top 10 seniors. The top 10 seniors are easily recognized by the gold cord they are wearing, representing academic excellence. Please stand as I call your name and remain standing. The 10th highest ranked senior, Diego Martinez, son of Arnolfo and Stephanie Martinez. Ninth highest ranked senior, Edgar Cruz Morales, son of Victor Cruz and Sarah Morales. Eighth highest ranked senior, Karina Almos Rubacaba, daughter of Antonio and Rocio Almos. Seventh highest ranked senior, Stephen Hunter, son of Ricky and Amanda Hunter. Six 
six, highest ranked senior, Joseph Bultron, son of Jessica Bultron. Fifth, highest ranked senior, Melissa Tobias, daughter of Juan and Maricela Tobias. Fifth, highest ranked senior, Isabel Mendez, daughter of Hector Mendez and Floresel Santos. And third, highest ranked senior, Ariana Nerezo, daughter of Abel and Teresito Nerezo. Please help me recognize this outstanding group of seniors. Congratulations to on all your hard work and your well-deserved recognition that you have all received. You may be seated. This year, we have three seniors who have chosen to dedicate their lives to the service of our country. Cesar Alderate will be enlisting with the United States Marine Corps. Christian Avalos will be enlisting with the United States Army. And Tino Quintanilla will be enlisting with the United States Navy. Please remain standing. I would also like to recognize the veterans and active military of our armed services who are with us in the audience on this special day. If our veterans and active military will please stand and be recognized for your service. Thank you. You may be seated. At this time, Mr. Sal Lemus, the College Career and Military Readiness Advisor, will announce the scholarship total for the class of 2023. Good evening. If you have received a scholarship, please stand and be recognized. Thank you. You may be seated. The current total scholarship and grant amount for all seniors in Castleberry High School class of 2023 is $5,401,663. Congratulations to the class of 2023 and their families. Please welcome Castleberry High School counselor, Mr. Stephen Reeve, who will define the National Honor Society. Good evening. The 12 National Honor Society students are wearing white honor stole and royal blue cords. Would the members of the National Honor Society please stand and remain standing? Four ideas are held by the National Honor Society, scholarship, service, leadership, and character. All members must keep a 3.1 GPA while taking at least one advanced placement course, maintain good citizenship, and perform community service hours. I would like to congratulate each member. You have shown through your success in the classroom that you have prepared yourselves for for success in the future. Thank you, and please be seated. And now, what we have all been waiting for, Ms. Smith Wagner, it is my pleasure to present to you the class of 2023 as candidates for graduation. 
I certify that these students have met the state and local requirements for the graduation and are eligible to receive a diploma. On behalf of the Texas Education Agency and the Castleberry Independent School District, it is an honor and a pleasure to accept these candidates for graduation. As your name is being called, as your name is being called, please step forward to receive your diploma. Family and friends, as the name of each graduate is called, we ask that you celebrate quickly to allow for each graduate's name to be heard. Please welcome Mr. Vasquez, Student Advocate Specialist, as our top 10 graduates make their way to receive their diplomas. Luis. Hajar Zagul. Ariana Teresita Nareso. Isabel Mendez. Melissa Tobias. Joseph Julian Vitron. Stephen Clayton Hunter. Karina Olmos Rubalcaba. Edgar Said Cruz Morales. Diego Herrera Martinez. Jalen Tierra Polti. Aliyah Nicole Adriano. Alejandro Aguilar. Nayeli Aguilar. Hannah Nevea Aguillon. Jocelyn Manuela Aguirre Torres. Liliana Anita Aguirre. Cesar Alderete. Alex Alegría. Jason Morgan Alvarado. Faith Marie Alviar. Desiree Marie Alvidres. Fatima Alviso. Areli Denise Amador. Dominic Ansaldúa. Jabrian Arcinega. Natalie Ariana Arellano. Luis Emiliano Arias. Adrian Fernando Armijo. Miguel Eric Arroyo. 
Ángel Eduardo Astorga. Cristian Ábalos. Clarabel Ábalos Dianes. Melody Edith Ávila. Carlos Alberto Aspitia. Jasmine Aspitia. Amin Ba'amad. Brayden Nikos Gronaris Bailey. Jose Alberto Banda. Leah Annette Barrera. Brody McCord Monroe Barrington. Jeremy Nathaniel Bartlett. Viviana Idali Basan. Daniela Isabel Benitez. Oscar Raúl Blanco. Adam Steven Blankenship. Marisa Sabina Bonilla. Axel Leobardo Borrego. Edward Marlon Calderón Rizzo. Abigail Calzoncit. Samuel Canales. Ángel Anthony Cárdenas. Jocelyn Alexa Cárdenas. Maximino Ramos Carmona. Marilí Caranza. Graciela Miriam Carrillo. Ricky Axel Castillo. Jose Martín Cedillo Jr. Jacqueline Janet Chávez. Fátima Destiny Conchas. Jose Alberto Contreras Vega. Jose Alfredo Coronado Jr. Jocelyn Michelle Corales. Olivia Camille Cortez. JC Nicole Crawford. Angel Marie Lynn Crumley. Osvaldo Adolfo Cruz. Arnel Armando Cura. Seth Mordecai Dalton. Thomas Francis Davis III.
Xavier Nathaniel De La Rosa. Adeline Karina Delgadillo. Victoria Yadira Dominguez. Victoria Whitney Doris. Grisel Elisa Espinosa. Germán Estrada Jr. Héctor Jesús Fernández Jr. Luke Jackson Fief. Jose Omar Flores. Brianna Denise Fonseca. Alexis Frias Treviso. Laisha Gabriela Galaviz. Jimena Gallardo. Natalie Garay. Clarissa Garcia. David Alexander Ray Garcia. Emily Juliet Garcia. Esteban Garcia. Gabriel Alexander Ray Garcia. Savannah Alyssa Della Garcia. Stephanie Garcia. Vanessa Mariah Garcia. Fidel Garcia Meyer. Adrian Garza. Dakota Lane Gates. Francisco Manuel Gomez. Giovanni Gomez. Emmanuel Gonzalez. Rudy Lucio Gonzalez. Francisco Jose Guerrero. Isaac Guerrero. Kevin Guevara. Raul Eduardo Gutierrez Villalba. Abraham Roman Hernandez. Valdemar Hernandez. Daniel Lee Hernandez. Eduardo Theodore Hernandez. Emily Hernandez. Gable Gray Hernandez. Cassandra Luz Hernandez. 
Samuel Hernández. Xavier Sebastian Hernandez. Princess Jade Hernandez Guzman. Armando Herrada Jr. Anastasia Herrera. Ángel Yair Herrera. Nevea Hinojosa. James Nicholas Howard. Miguel Enrique Huerta. Priscilla Huerta. Haley Nicole Hughes. Susana Ibarra. Jason Adán Iracheta Garcia. Daniel Marcelo Jasso. Paris Johnson. Keziah Lynette Jordan. Thomas Wayne Kirk. Calvin Ray Kirkendall Jr. Azael Lares. Jose Maria Lazarín Rodríguez. David Lopez. Elise Lopez. Fabiola Lopez. Shadia Giselle Lopez. Samaya Nicole Lozano. Julian David Madera. Angeli Lisette Marines. Anthony Slayton Martinez. Pedro Martinez. Roberto Martinez Jr. Jesse Mata McIntosh. Ana Maria Medina. Alondra Mejia. Edgar Adolfo Mejia. Jose Alexander Mejia. Alexia Cassandra Mejia Delgado. Leo Asael Melo. Alessandra Mendez. Jordan Anthony Mickelson. Jacqueline Aurora Miranda. Elimar Aide Mojica. Gabriela Molina Galván. Cristo Muñoz. Sofía Acacia Muñoz. 
Jacob Nathaniel Ornelas. <laughs> Janet Orantia. <laughs> Benjamin Ortega. <laughs> Israel Francisco Ortiz. <laughs> Jacqueline Abigail Ortiz. Nevea Araceli Ortiz. Sonia Denise Ortiz. Valeria Ortiz Ávila. Dana Paola Palafox Fisher. Zachary Allen Parnell. Mariana Pascual. Frank Stephen Phillips Pastusic. Miguel Angel Perez Jr. Yasmin Isabella Perez. Corbin Vincente Perkoff. <laughs> Cheyenne Annette Pettis. <laughs> Sofia Lily Ponce. <laughs> Tino Quintanilla. <laughs> Ariel Ramirez. <laughs> Josh Max Ramirez. Mary Cruz Ramirez Godinez. Ashlyn Joe Red Eagle. Alex Rivera. Jaslyn Mitchell Rivera. Sharik Rivera. <laughs> Celeste Robles. <laughs> Daniela Yamilet Rodriguez. Uh, when you say my last, uh, start up with Fernando Pierro Rodriguez, because they didn't put it down. Fernando Pierro? Pierro. Pierro? Sí. Con F. Sí, con F. Gracias. Fernando. Fierro Rodriguez, Jr. Isaac Zachary Rodriguez. Jacob Riley Rodriguez. Jeremiah Ethan Rodriguez. Rayelo Rodriguez Guerrero. Nathan Rodney Rogan. Miguel Angel Rojas. Catherine Rayla Rosas. Kim Vanessa Raucho. Carlos Javier Salas. Gabriela Lisset Salazar Rosales. Mariah Ilen Salazar. Raúl Zambrano. Jonathan Sánchez. Alyssa Marie Sandoval. Segueda. Segueda. Kiana Michelle Segueda. Okay. 
Alejandro José Silva. Brittany Silva. Heaven Lee Silva. Megan Hope Simmons. Caitlin Dolores Smith. Carlos Emanuel Solis Garcia. Juan Solis Garcia. Brisa Yescas Soto. Presley Sage Sprill. Cadence Ray Stevens. Diego Torres. Genesis Joanna Torres. Samantha Giselle Torres. Samantha Michelle Torres. Javes Edson Troncoso. Aaron Uribe. Edwin Jair Valadez. Joaquin Lorenzo Valdez. Eric Brian Vega Trejo. Norma Contreras Vidal. Rashad Jesse Wallace. Jaden Evan Westman. Ashley Cheyenne Whitworth. Isaac Edward Williams. Kindlin Elaine Walford. Soraya Natalia Saldivar. to the other side of your cap. This signifies the beginning of your new life as graduates. Please celebrate this accomplishment.
Graduates, please remain standing and join us as we sing our alma mater. Graduates, please remain standing by your seats and we will exit in a formal recession. Family and friends, please remain seated as the class of 2023 takes their final steps to into their future as graduates. We ask that you remain seated and allow all of our graduates to exit the auditorium. When the last graduate clears the door, you may start your way to the exits to meet your graduate outside the auditorium. Thank you and congratulations, graduates. <laughs> 